Welcome back, everybody, to Fox Sports Radio 1340 WHAP, the soul and sports own hashtag bet that, people. It is I, Mike Pierman Sr., and I got to tell you one thing. How about those Chicago Cubs? People, that's right. Normally, I'm just in front of you in my suit, looking all fresh and different, showing how you to get the money and pretty much show you how to make the money. But today, it's all about the Chicago Cubs, baby. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead and break this down for you. NFL Week 7, hashtag bet that. And people, I told you this thing was chess, not checkers. I am making the slow turn around the corner to come to the finish line with a big wide gap like my name was Usain Bolt when it comes to making these picks this year, people. I'm telling you right now, my week last week was astonishing. My upset of the week came through with the New Orleans Saints. My lock of the week came through with the Houston Texans. I told you guys that the Falcons would cover in Denver. Listen, people, it's time to show you the money. So that's what I'm going to do. Excuse my voice. You know, I'm still getting over that little bit of something I had trying to come down, but it's okay. I digress. Let's go ahead and get into these games. Tonight, the Thursday nighter will be the Chicago Bears, the Bears, the Bears, the Bears, the Bears, the Monsters of the Midway, even though lately they act like a bunch of little puppies, taking on and Green Bay, the Packers of Green Bay. Now, here's the thing with this game, guys. The Packers aren't the same. I'm not just saying this because the Dallas Cowboys just completely embarrassed them. I'm saying this because it was right before our eyes. Are we watching the fall of Aaron Rodgers? I don't know, but I know one thing about Aaron Rodgers. He's got a eight-point favorite game against the Bears that he completely normally dominates. The problem is that the Bears are the unknown factor. Now, should I make this the start of the week as a hashtag do not touch game? No, I can't. I gotta have some marbles. I gotta have some balls the size of great few. So that's what I am gonna do right now. And I'm gonna step out on a limb. Aaron, don't you bleep me, Rodgers. If you screw me on this one, Aaron, I'm not coming back to you guys this year. Give me the Packers and the eight points against the Bears. I mean, it's what they do, especially when it's in Green Bay against the Bears. Now, we got another game in London, which I'm sorry, guys. If 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 I'm a fan of one of these teams, I hate going out of the States. So we got the Giants taking on the Rams in London. The Giants are favored by three points. I don't get this. The Giants... Exploded last week. Odell Beckham and all his little antics. I mean, seriously, who really thought what he did was funny? I think a person who cannot take the internet criticism and tries to come back and make fun of himself, it's even worse. But, oh, fortunately, they're playing the Rams. The Rams' defense is who they are. This is another game. But the problem here, the, the X factor in this is Case Keenum. I don't know what he gives me from week to week. That is the problem. However, I got to go with Eli Manning and Odell Beckham in the way this offense is played. The defense has not completely showed up, but I think the offense is better than the offense of the Rams. Give me New York and the three points. Then we got Minnesota at Philadelphia. Minnesota favored by three points. Give me Minnesota and the three points against my Philadelphia Eagles who have been struggling. Carson Wentz and Winsylvania. We don't know where we are. We got to come out the closet, if you will. Where's R. Kelly when you need him? Because nobody's trapped right now in the closet. The Eagles need to win this game, but I got to take the Minnesota Vikings and the return of Sam Badford to the Philadelphia Eagles. Then we got Kansas City favored by seven at home against New Orleans. Another tough game this week, guys. I've been liking New Orleans all year. They have been covering for me all year. Kansas City has also been covering for me all year. I don't know where to go in this game. It should be a hashtag do not touch. I'm feeling myself, guys. I mean, it's like when my wife get out the shower and she's spitting that water's glitching all over her body. I'm feeling myself right now. Give me New Orleans to cover the point spread against the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm sorry, Andy. It, you don't really typically play New Orleans well. So I'm going to take Sean Payton over Andy Reid in this matchup. Then we got Detroit favored by one and a half over the Washington Redskins. Did nobody watch what Washington has been doing lately? But no, everybody wants to be so enamored by the gunslinger that is, you know, Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, his name will lose me right now. I do apologize. The quarterback in Detroit, I mean, he is just coming out, Matthew Stafford, and throwing darts out there. But guess what? I still don't believe in Detroit Lions. Give me Washington as the upset of the week to upset the Detroit Lions. You heard it right here. The Washington Redskins are the upset of the week and get five in a row. Give me the Washington Redskins. Then we got the Cincinnati Bungas, favored by 10 points over Cleveland. Listen, guys, 
They are not playing the New England Patriots and the return of Tom Brady, okay? All year long, the Cleveland Browns have mostly covered. Give me Cleveland to cover the 10-point spread. Why? Because 10-point spreads in the NFL is disrespectful. Give me Cleveland in the points just no matter who their quarterback is. Then we got the problem here, guys. This should be the untouched game. Buffalo taking on Miami. Guess what, guys? This game is in Miami. Give me Buffalo. Can they win five straight? I'm not sure. I like Miami's defense. When games like this, I go down and I say, who has the better defense? Give me Miami to win this game against Buffalo in Miami. Then we got Jacksonville at Oakland. Jacksonville favorite by one point. Give me Oakland right there. Um, also, we got Tennessee. Three points favorite over Indianapolis. Give me Tennessee. You know what, guys? Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. No, you lock it up. Not just told you I lock it up. No, you lock it up. Lock of the week. The Tennessee Titans cover the three points and went outright against the Indianapolis Colts. Then I got the J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. How are they favorite against the Baltimore Orioles? I mean, the Baltimore Ravens. Really? Give me the Baltimore Ravens. I don't care what's been going on with that team. Baltimore's still a better team than the New York football Jets. Then we got Atlanta favored by seven points over San Diego. And Atlanta in Hot Atlanta. Give me Hot Atlanta to cover the seven. Tampa Bay at San Francisco. The battle. Colin Kaepernick is out there again. And this time he's at home. But Tampa Bay has to step and prove, show and prove. This should be a hashtag do not touch game. But again, I told you guys this week, I got some balls the size of grapefruits. Give me Tampa Bay to go to San Francisco and cover the two points and win outright. New England at Pittsburgh without Big, Big Ben Roethlisberger. Give me New England and the seven points. Arizona at Seattle. Arizona's favored by two points. Guess what, God? I think Seattle is back where we forgot about them. The defense is showing up. The offense is showing up. Give me Seattle to upset the Arizona Cardinals at home. Then the Monday Nighter, Houston on the road against Denver. Denver for everybody, eight points. Give me Denver, guys. I mean, it's as simple as this. I love the Houston Texans. The one problem is the quarterback. How can you be six foot seven, have a cannon of an arm, and suck really, really bad? Give me Denver to cover that. So go ahead and wrap it up right here, right here, right here, right now, guys. Give me Denver. Give me Seattle. Give me New England. Give me Tampa Bay. Give me Hot Atlanta. Give me Baltimore. Give me Tennessee as my lock of the week. Give me Oakland. Give me Miami. Give me Cleveland to cover the 10 points against the Cincinnati Bungles. Give me Washington. Give me uh, New Orleans. Give me Minnesota. Give me the Giants. And give me the Packers of Green Bay. There you have it, guys. My lock of the week will be Tennessee. My upset of the week will be the Washington Redskins. Guys, make sure you go to Soul and Sports, S O U L. Capital N Sports on the Twitter. We are live, the best damn show in radio by me. And guess what, guys? I am the million dollar host. You are the million dollar audience. And together, we tag in and out to form the million dollar connection. Now, back that. <laughs>